it's me, QP83. This is a very quick review on one of the items I received this Christmas. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the My World sets. I love little food products and little miniature restaurant items and everything that My World is pretty much. And this is one of the ones I received for Christmas. This is Sprinkles Cupcakes. I've never been inside of Sprinkles, I've really never heard of Sprinkles, but for it to be in the My World series, it must be an actual chain. There are pictures online, I don't know how well this set represents the interiors of the Sprinkles that I saw online, but it seems like a really interesting place. As far as My World sets go, this is a, a nice one. There are some issues that I don't think were on all the other My World sets, however, I do like this. So. You get two walls here. One is the menu board with a large white open space here and the other is kind of like the merch wall where you see the logo, you see bright colors, you see like merchandise that is being sold in Sprinkles. The Sprinkles Cafe comes with this lovely little register slash display area. You have to put stickers on all of these things, for example, it comes with 12 cupcakes. It comes with two flavor pucks. I had no idea what a flavor puck was. I kind of thought maybe it was supposed to be a coffee cake, but apparently it's a flavor cup. It comes with two of these, which I'm assuming is a coffee or something. I, as I said, I've never been to this place. I have no idea what half of these things are, but they are cute. Now, the thing you'll notice with this set and the other sets is sometimes the stickers don't like to stick to the plastic. So you will need to use tape, just see-through tape, to reinforce it so you don't always have to put the stickers back on. You get two little cups here and you get a table, chair. I like the table because it looks kind of like a, like a peanut butter cup. But the thing is, I feel like if you bent it the wrong way, it could very easily break. I don't know. It's not as stable as the other tables that were in the other sets. Comes with chair. One chair. You get t-shirts. One in red, one in brown. I, I don't know if I love the stickers on these t-shirts because you can't really see them. This is another thing where the prototype had different stickers that were more colorful. And you also get three little boxes. You have to fold these up on your own. I added the sticker here from the sticker sheet because I didn't know where the sticker was supposed to go. So I just thought it looked nice here. But you'll see it get one large box, one medium box, and one tiny box. Now, here's the thing as I talk about with stickers. So you'll have some stickers that just have no, no home at all. You'll have some extra stickers for the cupcakes. You'll have an extra t-shirt sticker. You'll have this one, which I'm not quite sure where to stick it. it. It doesn't tell you where to put it at all. And you have this cupcake ATM. I don't see this cupcake ATM sticker on any of the promotional material. I think it might go in this big white space here, but I don't understand the point of putting a cupcake ATM right behind the register, because it doesn't make sense to me. But I think their idea was it was supposed to go right here above the cups on the backdrop. Where did you put it? Because I'd love to know, how does it look if you put it in this white box? I'm slightly afraid to do it and then think, you know, maybe I'll hate it and then I'll be like, why did I put the cupcake ATM there? I have no idea. As far as the set goes, I do think it's colorful, it's bright. I love the miniature cupcakes and the accessories that go with it. Like I said, I think there were some major differences between the prototype and the one that's pictured on the box and the promotional material compared to this, but it is a cute set and I do I love my world in general. I just think it's a really cute idea. I also picked up this weekend some of the extras. This is the vending machine. It's uh, it's hit or miss most of the time, to be honest. So you get all of the vending machine items. You do have to put stickers on them. Again, you'll want to put tape around the stickers. But here's the deal with the vending machine. So you'll get a little mini credit card for you to pretend to put it in. And then there's a button on the back. You press the button, the items go down. Then you can retrieve them here. That one worked really well. Sometimes the Coke, which is the only thing that'll fall down in the spending machine, these guys are stationary all the time. Sometimes the, the drinks will get stuck. 
you know, kind of have to poke them down or poke them up. But that time worked pretty darn well. But then these two rows don't actually move. It's just this row that moves. I also picked up the photo booth, which I thought was a cute idea. I like the little expansion sets here. Uh, this is kind of a, a failed gimmick in terms of our house. You're supposed to put your doll inside, put your phone in here, and line this up with your cell phone's lens. And from there, then you just hit take a picture on your phone, and you'll have a picture of your doll inside your photo booth. That's impossible with my phone. My phone is like an inch larger than this thing. I'm pretty sure it was maybe made for like iPhones or things in that sort of size range, which is not my phone at all. So that's a failed gimmick. However, I really think it's a cute little prop just to have outside of the rooms. It has a backdrop here made of cardboard, so be careful of that around liquidy things. Stars on the top. It's made of pretty good plastic. I don't think it's, it's made cheaply at all, but the gimmick kind of fails miserably in, in terms of the technology I own. Like I said, I love my world. I think these sets are really, really cute. This has some downfalls, but overall, it's still colorful and bright, and I really do quite like it. And I look forward to hopefully bringing in some other sets to show you one day, because I just think they're really cool. So, what do you think of my world? Do you have this set? Where did you put your Cupcake ATM sticker? Because I would love to know. You can leave your thoughts down below in the comment area. You can check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out our Facebook page, also Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. And I'll be back soon with more doll and toy reviews. Bye!